Dear students, welcome back. In the previous session, we have discussed about femoral triangle. Now we are going to discuss about femoral sheath. So in the previous session, we have discussed this femoral triangle, isn't it? So in the previous uh, discussion, in the femoral triangle, we have um, discussed about um, a small information about femoral sheath, which is enclosing the upper parts of the femoral canal. So here, this is the called as femoral sheath here. So actually, this is a funnel shaped sleeve of fascia. So this is a fascia. So this is a funnel shaped sleeve of fascia enclosing the upper 3 to 4 centimeters. Upper 3 to 4 centimeters of femoral vessels okay so the sheet is a funnel shaped sleeve of fascia enclosing upper 3 to 4 centimeters of the femoral vessels now we will see how the formation of um, this femoral sheath occurs okay so here you can find this is the femoral sheath okay yes how this femoral sheath is formed the sheath is formed by the downward extension of two layers of the fascia of the abdomen one is the anterior wall of the sheath is formed by the fascia transversalis so the anterior wall of the fascia is formed by the fascia transversalis okay fascia transversalis another fascia that is which forms um, the posterior wall which is formed by the iliacus fascia or fascia iliaca so the anterior wall is formed by fascia transversalis which is the continuation of the anterior abdominal wall and fascia um, iliaca which forms the posterior wall of the femoral sheath. Okay, so this fascia covers the iliacus muscle. Inferiorly, the sheath emerges with a connective tissue around the femoral vessels. Okay. So the femoral sheath is asymmetrical. You can see here the femoral sheath is asymmetrical. It is not having a, a proper shape. So all the sides are uh, equal like that. So it is asymmetrical. Its lateral wall, this one is lateral wall is um, vertical and medial wall is oblique. And the medial wall is oblique being directed the medial wall is directed downwards and laterally it is directed downwards and laterally okay so uh, this is in this way the femoral sheath is formed now we will see the compartments of the femoral sheath actually the femoral sheath is uh, uh, divided into three compartments okay so in this here you can find the three compartments so the lateral arterial compartment so the lateral side is the arterial compartment so if you take the sheath like this and the sheath is divided into three compartments okay so the lateral one is the arterial compartment and the medial one is the um, intermediate or the middle one is called as uh, venous compartment and the medial side is called as lymphatic compartment. The medial one is called as lymphatic compartment. Why? Because it is having um, a lymph node inside it called as uh, uh, here you can find the lymph node very clearly in this pic yes so here the lymph node of um, clock wet 
ओके सो दैट थर्ड कंपार्टमेंट सो दिस थर्ड कंपार्टमेंट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज फीमरल केनॉल दिस वन इज फीमरल केनॉल कट इट मा सो हाउ मेनी कंपार्टमेंट्स आर देयर इन द फीमरल शीप थ्री कंपार्टमेंट्स लेटरल आर्टीरियल कंपार्टमेंट विच इज हैविंग फीमरल आर्टरी एंड इंटरमीडिएट कंपार्टमेंट और वीनस कंपार्टमेंट विच इज हैविंग फीमरल वेन एंड मीडियल कंपार्टमेंट इज कॉल्ड एज लिम्फैटिक कंपार्टमेंट विच कंटेन्स अ लिम्फ नोड कॉल्ड एज फीमरल कैन विथ ए लिम्फ नोड ऑफ क्लॉक वेट ओके सो एंड देन दिस कंपार्टमेंट इज कॉल्ड एज फीमरल कैनॉल सो वी हैव सीन femoral triangle inside the femoral triangle we are having femoral sheath and this femoral sheath having three compartments and the medial compartment is called as femoral canal so in the next session we are going to discuss about this femoral canal in detail thank you